what's going on guys welcome back to the channel we're here with attack on titan season four episode two final season of attack on titan man um <clears throat> and you guys really let me have it in the comment section of educating me um about what's really going on and the, you know with the timeline it thus far of what we saw in episode one so apparently this was what was going on uh, what day was dealing with i was thinking that you know in that four year span but i don't want to go over everything that you guys put in the comment section to help me to understand here um but just from the gist of it i really do understand um what you guys have written me for me to kind of understand what was going on because i figured they, they're probably going to reveal it at some point in the anime right so i wasn't worried too much about it but at the same time i still wanted to know where we are so apparently this is the time for reiner to pass on the armor titan so that's the reason why these kids would keep talking about inheriting the the armor titan and they're kind of you know what i'm saying um but the, the the funny thing about it is that i don't understand why do these aliens that are treated like crap you know what i'm saying why not get the armor titan and just turn <laughs> on them all like <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> i'm just saying i just say I, I mean I, I mean they you know they have more titans than them to probably wouldn't you know win but <laughs> you know what i mean like they, they they are treated so bad i just want to see them fight back but they won't you know the marlins they're you know, you know i mean they using um <clears throat> they're using the aliens as bombs dropping from the sky as you know turning titans um you know, Rhino was seriously messed up in episode one, man. So, we're gonna do we jump into this episode, man. Episode two, man. Can't wait to see it. But you already know. Leave that like. Leave. Let me tell my leave that. <laughs> Hit that like button, guys. You know, already know that this is gonna be fire. So, let's go watch this. And I will see you guys for the review. One of the things that I enjoy the most about Attack on Titan is how they take their time to tell a story, right? They take their time to tell a story. And I did make a mistake when I said to you guys that the manga was finished. Apparently, it's not. I thought it was, but I think I was confusing it with Demon Slayer. I think uh, it's one out of the two that I heard that was done. And I thought it was Attack on Titan that was finished. But you guys said it's like only like maybe two or three more chapters left for them to release for Attack on Titan. So, um, yeah. All right. So, yes, I've made that correction. Um, also, as I said, you guys have let me know the, sto the, the timeline of what's happening. They both practically have a year to live. Uh, because we know there's a time limit on whoever gets a, get, get inherits the Titan powers, they only get to live. I think what is it, nine years, uh, or was it? I think it's nine years, right? If I'm if I'm not mistaken, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. I might guess right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these details are just flashing back to me now because you know what I'm saying. I'm not like you guys who eat, sleep, drink, and doo doo. Attack on Titan, okay? I know the story from what I watch in the anime, and because, you know, it's been quite some time since I caught up with the series. So, um, between doing plenty of shows in between since then, you know, I feel like all the knowledge is gonna rush back to me, as, you know, watching these episodes and getting back into Attack on Titan. But just bear with me for now, you know? I'm getting up there in age and... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Forgive you, boy. <laughs> Anyways, because I know some people are going to be watching like, how oh, can you not remember that, man? That was... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
most of these shows that I watch, I don't eat, sleep, and drink them. You know what I'm saying? I sometimes I'll watch other people react to these shows, but it's not very often. Like the only show that I watch reactions to consistently is Naruto. That's a that's about it. Like other shows, I might watch certain reactors because I want to see their specific reactions to certain things. Um, I don't really watch Attack on Titan reactions from other react reactors, to be honest. I really don't. <laughs> so, to refresh my memory, you know what I'm saying, um, I usually like go back and watch some of my reactions, to be honest, um, during that time. But it wasn't like anything on a consistent basis. I remember when I was trying to edit some of the episodes to put them on YouTube, I actually did was watching through some stuff and noticing some stuff that I missed when I was watching it over the first time, you know, so that was pretty cool. So for this episode, man, they went into a lot about, you know, what I'm saying the, the whole armband thing I was talking about. Apparently, it's not because I was thinking it's only Titan Shifters has the red armband, but apparently not. It seems like. From what they were explaining from the cut, from the middle cut that they did, and it seems like it goes by, like, whether officers, civilians, and, and, and whatever. So I think the officers is what it represents, the red one, right? So, and yellows are like, you know, regular recruits in the army or, or whatever, and civilians maybe they have yellow too or gray at one point i saw a gray in there i don't know if they're portraying this right in the anime <laughs> okay so maybe one of you guys can explain that to me in the, in the comment section please i don't think that would be much of a spoiler for anything um but it's just something that i noticed and i was thinking that there's some significance to it but there's probably not so if it is a big significance then you don't need to write me anything but if it's not a big deal please explain to me what the different colors for the armbands for the aliens mean um i would really appreciate that because you know i don't want to look up anything and be spoiled about anything okay so that's what you're here for that's what the terror squad is here for um so yeah so they're planning this attack zeke is like we got one year we got a go back and try to get you know the the attack titan and maybe female titan and the colossal titan right so they have those three titans they can um go get right so um so i guess that's gonna spark the war they've been sending ships over there and it seems like Aaron and Armin has been, you know what I'm saying, doing work. None of them has returned. <laughs> They've been trying to take parodies for the longest. They still can't take them. But the thing about it is that I don't even know if they know that Aaron and them know, know where they at. They know where Marley is. They come in to get that ass. I think they're trying to formulate a plan to go over there because they don't know the, the battle strength. Because they know that they have the remaining titans right it's you know what i'm saying they only have two they still got about seven um, well they got two annie so they got six right they got six six of them um and three is over there i don't know what's gonna happen with annie at some point she needs to come out of that whatever cocoon of silk um diamond cocoon she's in um so we'll see how that goes but in any case, that's the plan of attack. Um, it's the, another thing that struck me a lot in this episode was the, um, the, 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 the constant brainwashing that they go through as Eldians. It's like, it's like Marley or die. You know what I'm saying? It, it, you know what I'm saying? The minute you start speak against Marleyans, it's like you yourself feel like you're losing your mind. For not doing the Marleyan thing to do because you know what type of threat you bring to your own life. But by even speaking a little bit out of place, you know what I'm saying, about Marleyans. It's crazy. And they can't turn into Titans. I just, I, it baffles me. It 
baffles me, bro. When you have this tremendous, awesome power, and you, why are you under under Marlian rule? I can, it, it baffles me to this day. Me, I know one of you guys are going to try to explain that to me because I, I really want to know why. <laughs> They can't turn into Titan. You guys got the power to wipe these people out. <laughs> I don't understand why they won't stand up for themselves and become the quote unquote superior race, if you want to call it that. You know what I'm saying? But why subject your um subject yourself to them? I just don't understand that. It's it, it's just and for me, it's just like it's it, it's a brainwashing thing for me. Or as I said. I could be wrong on my theory here. I don't know if I don't remember them ever explaining why. You know what I'm saying? Why they never rebel when they when aliens are the only ones that can have these Titan the Titan powers. They're the only one that can shift, right? I'm not talking about your regular degular Titans. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about like the Titan shifters, you know, armor Titan, Beast Titan. They could raise a war against the Marlians and I just don't understand why they never did so you know maybe I'm just missing something I, I don't know but as I said I'm not a manga reader and maybe that stuff was explained in the manga at some point but they just haven't done that in the anime yet but I'm looking forward to it of course to see if they will ever reveal anything like that um, it's just my wheels are spinning in my head you know what I'm saying I'm wondering why they've never rebelled you know when they have this tremendous power is it because of zeke is it because of zeke with this heavily devotion from he was young staying with his it was his grandparents right that he that kind of adopted him in some way and then he gave up his mom and dad for execution or whatever tell them what they've been planned and, and stuff like that it was he, it was his grandparents right i think it was um Grisha, <laughs> see what I'm saying? The knowledge is coming back. It's coming back. So Grisha, I think it was Grisha's parents that he went to stay with, right? Because he kind of favored the grandparents over his own parents because of what they did, and he snitched on them, um, right? So as I said, things are coming back to me little by little, guys. So just bear with me as I remember stuff. I might be remembering some stuff wrong, but hey we're here on a journey together so just don't spoil anything for me if you're gonna correct me about anything and we'll be good all right so i appreciate you guys for tuning in as always man i'm looking forward to episode three of course thank you guys so much for tuning in don't forget to hit the like button before you leave leave a comment in the comment section whether whether you don't like my reaction or you love my reaction please leave a rating on the video like or dislike leave a comment it's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and I'm out. Peace.